What's going on guys? What you wanna do is go below and fill out the application to enter the Intellectual Property School. This is gonna change your life. What we're gonna do is teach you how to make six figures for the rest of your life. So if you wanna be part of the Intellectual Property School experience, what you need to do is go below, fill out the app, and then if your mindset fits our mindset, we will send you a invitation for a scheduled call to discuss your future in the Intellectual Property School, where we teach you how to set up a holding company, teach you how to set up an operating company, teach you business banking, teach you business credit, teach you how to start an online business. So if that's something for you, go below and enter the Intellectual Property School app. So let's get into this video. Today, I was watching a video that was titled, how to build a $3 million real estate portfolio with no money out of pocket. And it was quite long and they get into the discussion of building this $3 million real estate portfolio with no money out of pocket. And it was like an hour and 50 minutes long. I just watch maybe maybe three minutes of it because here's the thing it, it got me to thinking why is everyone trying to market to you that you can make all of this money with no money the answer is that's the biggest market on the planet that's the biggest segment that's the biggest pool of customers on the planet people who don't have money largest market and that, that makes sense when you think of it from that terms because let me go ahead and share some stuff with you i did not start making money until i went through phases of spending money my first spending money and it actually wasn't a lot of money by today's standards was 114 dollars for earl nightingale's lead to field but at the time when i bought Earl Nightingale's Lead to Feel from Nightingale Conant. I don't think the company exists anymore. I was making a thousand bucks a month. So I spent 10%, well actually, yeah. I spent more than 10% of my monthly income to get this training. And that was the first training. And what it did, it put new ideals and concepts in my mind. And then the second time I spent money, and now let's go ahead and talk about what happened. Earl Nightingale, Dr. Joseph Murray, Tony Robbins. I took that education, I put it into action, and then I got to the point where I got hired by Rent-A-Crate, got hired by Panel Systems, got hired by Business Environments. Business Environments is where I made the most money as a person with a job. I had a job and I started my first really successful business. And what happened was as I slid into my second successful business, I had to spend about $30,000 and that was a conjunction between buying storage unit auctions and living money, money that I was living on. And I include that because the money that I was spending to maintain myself, to pay my bills, it counts. So that's why, because I actually think I spent maybe, maybe 15,000 actually on storage auctions and I spent maybe 15,000 to live because it all matters because this money was coming from this one account and this account was going down, 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 down until I figured out how to buy storage unit auctions and then I figured out how to make money. This is one of the things that happened and I am seeing there are several people online that are promoting these ridiculous, and I'm gonna say ridiculous methodologies to making money with no money. Because here's the thing, and this is something for someone who understands business, this is for someone who understands numbers. The numbers do not make sense. If you go ahead and get a real estate portfolio of $3 million, the majority of your money is gonna be leveraged, meaning that you will owe people money to build this $3 million portfolio. Because like I said, I didn't listen to it because I know from personal experience that it's really, really hard to build something without an initial investment. It's really, really hard. But 
There are so many people who are teaching you that, hey, I understand you're broke dick Annie. I totally understand you have no money. I've got some way for you to make millions and millions of dollars with no money, no credit. Just go ahead and buy my strategy. It's a sales pitch. This is one of the things that I'm consistently seeing because part of this thing is everyone who has no money is looking for a way to convert their experiences, the things they know, where they are in life, convert that into a way to make money. And this is, once again, the largest audience on the planet is people who don't have money. Biggest audience. So once you begin to understand why is all this training aimed at people who don't have any money? And this is something that's very interesting. Right now, we got a lot of stuff that's going on in that economy. Car repossessions are at an all time high. People are being evicted. And if the trends continue, the next thing we're gonna see, cars being repossessed, uh, people being evicted. The next thing is coming is a massive foreclosure concept because right now I look at Zillow because I'm looking for property four months into the future and I am seeing a ton, a ton of what I considered failed Airbnbs because these are people who actually spent some money, they used their credit, got another piece of property, enter into the Airbnb space, and it's just simply not working out. It's just not working out. And I see numerous completely furnished Airbnb, failed Airbnb rooms on Zillow every day. Like today, if I wanted to go on Zillow, I can find 14 just like that. Because here was something, and this is something else too. I went to the gun store and I was looking at something. I'm probably gonna have to order it online, but I was looking into develop, getting a gun. And the guy's like, it was extremely slow for the gun store. And then I went to another business and it was extremely slow for them. So a recession is coming. It's coming. Who is gonna benefit from this recession? Is it all the broke dick dannies out there who don't have no money? Nope. It's gonna be the people who are sitting on money because they're gonna be able to dispose that money into buying assets because the assets are gonna be cheaper. Car prices are crashing. It's just a matter of time before we see a massive correction in real estate. It's just simply a matter of time. And right now, this is why all of the, let's call them scam artists, because anyone that is portraying to you that you can make all of this money without having to spend money, I think they're, they're toying with your emotions. Are there ways for people who are willing to do the work to make money without a large capital investment? Yes. But even on that low level, you're gonna spend 500 to 2,500 bucks, even at that low level, to get rolling, to get started. There's virtually nothing outside of a YouTube channel or social media invention. Now that's something we'll be talking about in the intellectual property school, how to make organic money. But typically, you gotta spend money to get to a certain place in life. You, you have to spend money to get to that appropriate level. And this is why literally there are so many people, there, there are YouTube channels where this girl who is teaching people how to start businesses for free, there's a problem with her lesson plan. The majority of her money she makes from content creation. Content creation, she doesn't make a lot of money from her business. The majority of her money comes from content creation, which she has talked about, but not, she isn't going into deep, deep details and she's never put up a video, how much money did I make from content creation? It's always, how much money I make from my businesses? And to be valid, content creation business is a business, but she's kind of leaving out some important details because unless you go ahead and have the ability to get a following based upon your content, to make money using her methodologies are gonna be very, very hard. And this is something else too, and I'm just gonna tell it to you from personal experience. Remember, I think it was like 2015, 16, when Facebook bought Instagram, and everyone who knew something that knew that what has happened to Instagram was gonna happen. If you wanna grow, if you wanna make money, if you really wanna do some things on Instagram from a business standpoint, guess what you gotta do? You gotta spend some money. So. Everyone who knew Facebook knew what was coming once Facebook bought Instagram. I got a question for you, and I, I want you to be honest. 
Why are you so desperately looking for things that you don't have to spend money? Why is that the first thing that you want? Like, literally, I see comments from the ignorant, from the dumb, from the petty. Well, he's just trying to sell some stuff that you can Google. Let me tell you something. There are things in the intellectual property school that I know for a fact you cannot Google. You won't know why you can't Google it, because the average person on YouTube is a reporter. I'm a technician. I'm actually doing this stuff in real life. So I get different results because I can tell you there's a number of videos, and especially in the business credit realm, that are putting out false, ignorant information because they're just reporting on something that they know is available without actually going through the process. Because there's one of the things you have to understand, different creditors have different methodology. So there's a lot of things that are going on. But this is one of the reasons you see so much content aimed at people who don't have any money because it's a very, very large market. And if they can get a hundred bucks out of you, they can get 300 bucks out of you. That's a win for them because they know, number one, you don't have a lot of money. So they know they have to sell you something reasonably cheap to get your money to pull you into the cycle. Because like, I would not want, and I'm gonna say this from personal experience, I would not want to own a $3 million portfolio that was extremely heavily leveraged. Why? The profits from that portfolio are gonna be pretty slim. Once again, Pace Morby. He's someone that has a lot of property. He has thousands of properties and his properties make him 100 to 200 bucks per month for each property. But when you multiply that across thousands of, part of properties, that makes a lot of money. So Pace is doing it correctly for himself and I think this is what he's teaching his students. But if you for some reason feel that you can get a lot of properties, a lot of real estate, a lot of business with absolutely no money, you're not really that educated, in my opinion. All right, so for the people who wanna get into the intellectual property school, what you wanna do is go below, hit the description, fill out the app, and then if you are where you need to be in terms of filling out the app and us having conversations, then we will send you a live presentation to bring you into the intellectual property school. The app is in the first comment. If it's not in the first comment, it will be in the description box. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.